hey what's up guys today I am here with another video in this video I am going to show you how to test electronic components these are the electronic components that I am going to show you how to test them uh, these, these are the non-polar capacitor, polar capacitor, semiconductors, fuse, bridge rectifier, resistance, uh, diodes, transistors and transformers so in this video I will just show you how to test them uh, that they are bad or good so first of all let's check the fuse everybody knows this that how to test uh, fuse but it's just uh, for beginners when we touch these probes at this both of them the buzzer should beep so it means that the fuse is ok and uh, now this is the fuse that is burst as you can see it is burst inside and let's check this one so the buzzer is not beeping it means this is the bad one now it, it is the ceramic type uh, fuse so let's check them we cannot see the uh, see the thin wire inside this so it is the, the ceramic type uh, fuse so we will have to check this with uh, meter as you can as you can hear the sound that it's beeping so it, this is the good one if it does not beep so it, that is the bad one so now it was the fuse so now let's check the inductors so in inductors we will have to we will have to check the continuity between coil to coil as you can see we will have to check the continuity between this wire and coil to coil if there is not continuity between the coil so the inductor is bad so let's check this so it means this this coil is ok let's check this one it's also ok it is also ok ok so means this inductor is ok and we can reuse this in any uh, circuit so this was the testing of uh, inductors if there is not continuity between this so means this is not ok that is bad one if there is continuity between these uh, legs this side of any one of the this side so this there there would be a short circuit so that is also a bad one this is also the inductor with four legs it's okay so this is the good one these two are also inductor so the method is same as there should be continuity between these two legs so this is the good one and this is also the inductor so it is also good if there is not continuity between these legs so that is bad one there is uh, the wire is cut off between this uh, coil so this is good now let's check uh, the transformers the transformer method is also as the inductor one as I show you the inductors there should be continuity between any of two wires if four wires coming so there should be continuity be between two wires means it this this two wires has continuity so this this coil is ok let's check this coil so it is also ok but there should not be continuity like this from this side to this side if there is continuity so this is the short circuit so that is the bad one there should not continuity there should be there should not any continuity in like this side so this is the ok transformer and we have now we have some this type of transformer so the same the same method we will have to check this the buzzer should beep in all of these legs the one probe is here there should be continuity with all these big wires that legs are we will touch this so this one is ok ok so there should not uh, continuity through this 
side so there should continuity between this side and there should not continuity like this so this is also the good transformer so the same way so this is also the good one now we are going to check uh, the resistance the, we will have to move this selector to ohms so now first of all okay, let's check this so now it's it's a good resistor and it show it's a 100 ohm resistor so there is 99.9 .9. so this is also the good resistor let's check this one so now it's uh, i think it's 1k so let's check let's select the 2k range so it's about 1k 992 so it's 992 ohm means uh, 1000 ohms is equal to 1k 1 kilo ohm so it's a 1k ohm which means it's also good let's check this one so it's a uh, about 1.5 k ohm so this is also good resistance now let's check the non-polar capacitors it's a non-polar capacitor uh, it works on uh, AC it's a non-polar capacitor if there is continuity between these legs of capacitor so that is the bad one if there is not continuity so it is the good one as you can see it's not beeping so this is the good capacitor in this way we'll check uh, any of them so this is also the good one and it's also good i don't have the bad uh, capacitor that uh, i would show you that uh, how how it looks when it is bad so that was the method let's check this uh, polar capacitor electrolyte it's, called, it's also called electrolyte capacitor so in this capacitor when we touch these both uh, props to the negative and positive so the readings will show some readings will show and then the readings will come back to one so it means the capacitor is okay first of all discharge it discharge the capacitor before you testing the capacitor So as you can see the reading showed and then uh, come back to 1 so this is ok let's check so that means this is the good uh, uh, capacitor we can use this let's check this one discharge it so this is also the good uh, capacitor now let's check this small one the same method so this is the good uh, capacitor if the readings are continuously shows and uh, it's beeping between this leg the buzzer, the buzzer beeps so that is the bad capacitor now let's check the diode the diode uh, let's uh, move this selector to the diode mode the diode has the simple way to check this so now let's check the diode if we connect the positive lead uh, to the this strip line and negative to this side so it should not show the readings as you can see it should not show the readings if it is showing so this is the bad uh, diode and uh, when we connect when we connect this uh, black lead to the strip line this is the negative and this is the positive of diode it should show the readings on meter 
so that would be the good uh, divot as you can see it's showing the reading so this is a good divot to check the divots the same method as you can see this is the negative and this is the positive so it's showing the reading if I oppose it this it, sh it should not show the readings so this is the good divot now let's check the transistor as you can see this is the divot uh, the symbol this is the negative side and this is the positive side of divot the transistor is simply made of uh, the made of two divots just uh, by connecting them like this this is the symbol of uh, divot so these both are negative negative are connected to negative and this is the positive and this is the also the positive so this is p and p transistor when we connect the negative lead here so it shows the reading in both the right and left side so that is the uh, it means that the transistor is uh, good if if it is not showing the reading so that is the bad one or if it is uh, continuously the buzzer is beeping between the all these legs so that is also the bad uh, transistor so let's check this one uh, move the selector to the continuity mode and then check as I told you if I connect this uh, so this is the P and P so I will have to put this here uh, and then if it shows it should show the readings on the meter so this is the good so this side is good and this is also the good so this is good it's so it means that this transistor is good one so this is the way how to check the uh, transistor uh, so this is also the transistor as I told you that this is the made of two diodes so now as you can see it is uh, it's showing the uh, real structure of uh, a transistor so this this both these strips lines are negative so this is the P and P transistor it's showing the reading also on the left side so it means that this transformer this uh, uh, sorry this this transistor is okay if is if there is continuity uh, throw this uh, legs so this is the it means that this is the bad transistor so now let's check uh, the bridge rectifier the bridge rectifier has the very easy method it's also made of four diodes which converts uh, ac to dc when i touch this lead negative lead to the negative side so it should not show the readings with these three legs as you can see it is it's not showing the readings when i connect this uh, the positive side to the negative of bridge rectifier so it should show the readings between these two legs and the last leg sh the readings should be higher than the uh, these uh, two legs as you can see it's showing the reading so this this reading should be higher than the previous two legs so it means this is the way to check the bridge rectifier that this uh, that is the bad one or good one so this is a good so we can use this the same method with this so it is I have showed you to that how it looks like so the same method so this was the video on how to test electronic components uh, so give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel turn on notification and share this video thanks for watching